thinking about the issues that affect them or what the, the issues that they might want to take action on? Yeah, I mean, I think the most important thing is to realize that you can accomplish something. I know sometimes it feels, you just feel powerless, that you're one small person in this world of big corporations and big evil people and big media companies and so on. There's just nothing you can do. You throw away. This is breaking news from CNN or Fox or whatever. Fuck you. What is Reddit? Reddit is an online message board that has just rocketed to popularity in the past two years. The name is a contraction of Reddit, as in, I already read it on Reddit. Reddit calls itself the Internet's front page. Because there are no editors on Reddit. No editors. Well, it's the kind of thing you want to believe, but recent events prove otherwise. On October 29th, 2013, the moderation team for the politics subreddit, a forum with over 3 million subscribers, the moderators announced that they have banned upwards to 98 publications from access to submissions. There's a curious mix of sites that seem justifiable at the surface with others that are award-winning publications of journalism. For example, they banned Mother Jones Magazine, which last year won a Polk Award for investigative journalism. Some might remember then-presidential candidate Mitt Romney's statements at a fundraiser where he said 47% of the population likely wouldn't support him. There are 47% of the people who vote for the president no matter what. It was David Korn of Mother Jones Magazine who obtained that video and then disseminated it. Another site on the ban list is the Huffington Post. And this is just inexplicable, because last year, their war correspondent, David Wood, won the 2012 Pulitzer Prize. Good afternoon. I'm Arthur Delaney, here with Dave Wood, our senior military correspondent who has just won the Pulitzer Prize for national reporting for his series, Beyond the Battlefield, about severely wounded soldiers. These guys banned a Pulitzer Prize-winning publication. Not to be content with censoring award-winning journalistic publications, the mods have also chosen to ban just about every blogging platform out there. We said meh. M-E-H. Meh. What has this boy got that Susie likes? Integrity. Acute. Like indigestion. What does this mean? Integrity. A pocket full of fire. But without editors running the site, how does that sorting process work? When someone votes up a link, it adds a bit of helium, and a down vote sucks out a little bit of helium. This method is shockingly good at sorting stuff, be it international politics or... I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Democracy simply doesn't work. Hi, everyone. We've noticed some confusion recently over our decision in the past couple of weeks to expand our list of disallowed domains. This post is intended to explain our rationale for this decision. Wow, well, cool! Wait a minute! The f We have identified one of three recurring problems with the newly disallowed domains. First, much of the content from some of these domains constitutes blog spam. The second major problem with a lot of these domains is that they regularly provide sensationalist coverage of real news and debates. The third major problem is pretty simple to understand, though it is easily the most subjective. 
the domain provides lots of bad journalism to the sub. Bad journalism most regularly happens when the verification of claims made by a particular article is almost impossible. Bad journalism, especially when not critically evaluated, leads to lots of circle jerking and low quality content that we want to discourage. Domains with a history of producing a lot of bad journalism then are no longer allowed. I can no longer sit back and allow communist infiltration, communist indoctrination, communist subversion, and the international communist conspiracy to sap and impurify all of our precious body fluids. That's right. In defense of their nearly 3 million plus subscriber base, these moderators of the politics subreddit now protect their community from such bad journalistic publications as those that have won Pulitzer Prizes and Polk Awards. They're simply promoting a healthy free flow of information and public involvement by censoring those award-winning sites that promulgate bad journalism. It is this week in unnecessary censorship. The internet is a democracy in the purest form, as long as it's free. And fair. Reddit is one of those communities that really is shocking to me because it, it's so big but still has its heart in the right place. And it generally wants to make the world a place. And it's really, it's really to have been a, to have been a part of that. Yeah.